Hi, welcome back to Gerson Woodcraft and for 2017 I'm going to attempt to do a 12 part series, one part every month in things to do with cigar boxes. And let's talk about how I got there. Several months ago, a friend of mine made a ukulele out of a cigar box and I thought it was so cool that I wanted to make one too. And I asked him, where do you get the cigar box? And he goes, just go to a cigar store. And when I went to my cigar, my cigar store and asked them if they sold boxes, they said I can take all I wanted. They were all in the back. And there was this big pile of cigar boxes. And look at some of these. I mean, this is just gorgeous. They're all beautiful. Some of them are made out of pressed cardboard, I guess, but they're still interesting. And I decided that even though I only had one thing I wanted to do with a cigar box, I was now going to come up with 12 things to do with a cigar box, and I'm going to do one every month. And to make it even more exciting for 2017, I'm going to put out a challenge to all my viewers, all 12 of them. I'm going to show you something I made out of a cigar box every month. I want you to send me emails of pictures of things you made with a cigar box. Just send it to pgershwin at gmail.com. That's pgershwin at gmail.com. Assuming I get some emails with pictures, I'd like to add those to every month's video showcasing what you guys have done. And at the end of the year, I'm going to pick the one that I like the most, and that person will get a gift of one of my cigar box projects. Which one? Well, that's going to be a surprise. So what I made was a cool little desk light. The little on-off switch and one of these old-fashioned Edison bulbs that you can pick up just about anywhere. They're really cool. It's just a fun little light. So for the materials you'll need, is you'll need a cigar box of this general dimension. You want a box one, not a long, wide one. You'll understand in a moment. You're going to need some kind of switch. You can have a switch like that, a switch like this, a switch like this. You're going to want to have one of these that you can pick up, the threaded rod that goes in the bottom of that, some nuts. I got some brass washers so that it would match the color scheme. I then found this in the plumbing area. This was actually the single most expensive thing. This was actually $5, but it fits perfectly over that. And a really cool light bulb. Here's what it started with, but I ended up going with something like this. So first, you, you drill a hole appropriate for this threaded rod to go through, which we thread into the bottom of this. Put on a, lo a locking screw on both sides so and get it really secure. It goes through to the hole you drill for a little switch. And as I say, you can do any switch you want. Drill a little hole out the back for the power. I then wrapped this with some duct tape. This is a black industrial duct tape. A couple rounds to make sure that I'm fully insulated and that none of my wires touch the edge. And to make this sleeve snug enough so that you can get it on and off, but it stays on. Screw in the bulb. On and off. Whole thing took maybe a half an hour to do. But once I got it in action on my nightstand, I felt that this was a little uncomfortable to click and definitely obnoxiously loud for me to like click on at night. So I went online and I got this. And this is a touch dimmer. Uh, very simple, it costs about $9. You gotta follow the instructions that are not really as clear as they could be. Here's my second version. And this is a really cool cigar box. And with the touch dimmer in place, I was able to just go get a little cap nut and turn it on and off. This is very cool. And I also decided to contain all the wiring and put a little plate in here so that it becomes kind of like a little secret compartment. 
not that secret since it's a box, but people may not be necessarily ready to go in there, and that's where you'll keep your gold bullion and diamonds. Finally, for 2017, I'm going to be doing an equipment shout out at every episode. Just a quick little comment about some piece of gear that I'm working with, either positive or negative, just to add to the excitement of my videos. And today's shout out is the Ryobi Impact Drill. I love Ryobi. And they've always come up with those clever little additions like the magnetic shoe right here to hold the screws, a level on the back. Their equipment is first rate, lasts forever, and very reasonably priced when compared to Makita, which I'm not as crazy about. But sadly, this shout out is hopefully something that Ryobi will find and fix. Here, it gives you three little LED lights that light up to let you see what you're drilling. That was freaking awesome. The only problem is the lights come on only when the drill is on. So if you're trying to get it lined up with the screw, you have to turn it on to get the lights on, then the bit's spinning and you can't put it in the screw anymore. So, simple little thing, maybe a half pull would turn on the light. I think that would greatly improve this product, but Ryobi, a great product, a great addition to your workshop, just, they gotta fix that light. Well, thank you so much for spending a little time in Gertrude Woodcraft. I think our first project, a nice little cigar box nightstand light, couldn't be easier. Really happy with the way it came out. We're going to be doing 12 of these, so if I'm going to spend a year working with cigar boxes, I figured I might as well learn how to smoke a cigar. Sit back and enjoy a good book. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time, and remember... Send me pictures of the things you made out of cigar boxes. Who knows what you might win? Hot dog, this really isn't the time. Well, hot dog, you ruined the shot!